This is No Agenda. Speak in the native tongue of Hillary Clinton. Uh, what was her uh, politique? Politique Royale. So carte blanche for the politique Royale. Uh, to kind of make up any rules they want. And basically to fine people. To, uh, to make, you know, to, to put people out of business. And Ted Poe, who is, I think he's he a Democrat or Republican. I don't know. I don't Let know me look. Is. You keep talking. Yeah. He, uh, he did some grandstanding, but I thought it was pretty funny. And uh, it turns out the EPA now wants to regulate dust. <laughs> and I'm like, what? <laughs> dust? And uh, he lays it down for us. The Environmental Protection Agency has apparently run out of things to regulate and tax, so they are considering new guidelines for regulating particulate matter emissions. Which is, uh, what is that, John? Particulate matter. <laughs> yeah. More commonly known to you and me as dust. <laughs> now, I know what you are thinking. This is just cannot be true. What kind of crazy scheme is this? Well, well the EPA dust police would specifically <laughs> regulate farm dust. Farmers would be required to have dust collectors on their harvesters, planters, combines, uh, and haying equipment. Well, my per- personal- what? Well, particular, by the way, gener- began as, a, as something to be regulated when it was coming out of smokestacks. And right. so they had to put scrubbers on and other different things to keep the smokestack emissions from throwing out a bunch of carbon dust, usually like black soot is what it right. amounted to. Right. And, and, and actually, that was and, reasonable. But and it actually fact, works, right? So when you look at a yeah, smokestack. is a guy's plowing his field, he can't expect. A, oh, no, you know, no. It gets worse, John. It's not just about plowing the field. I mean, I could even kind of get into it, but still, you know, like, wow, all right, dust. No, no, it goes much further, according to Ted Poe. Who's a Republican, by the way? Okay. To crack down on dust created from driving a pickup truck down a dirt or gravel road. I'm not making this up. The federal government is considering farm dust regulations that are caused from driving on a dirt road. (laughs) This is genius. (laughs) So I thought... Well, maybe this is just some backdoor attempt to rid America of our majestic four-wheel drive pickups that liberals loathe so much and find some way to force these battery-operated toy cars. (laughs) 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 These battery-operated toy cars, which i got to say, Ted, I'm agreeing with you. On the rest of us. But the new proposals don't just apply to dust created from driving. No, they are fair and they are balanced in their overreaching authority. Farmers and ranchers are going to have to somehow limit the dust created by livestock (laughs) on their property as well. So, say Bessie the cow kicks up too much dust running over to your pickup truck at feeding time. The EPA is going to fine you for Bessie's misconduct. You need to move your cattle to another pasture during the daytime? Well, don't do it on a dry day because they may kick up too much dust. The dust police solution is to manage dusty dirt roads with water, or get this, <laughs> pave them with asphalt. It's great. It's great. I think that's a beautiful thing. It's like we just need to put more farmers out of business. Yeah. 